Hey chatters, I am super excited to reveal to you today Obsistence, which is a plugin that we've been working on at Synaptic Labs, mostly James and SynthMinds. In Obsidian, it acts very much like just ChatGPT, but you can choose from any model. You can hook it up to embeddings to look at your notes, and you can do all kinds of cool tools as well. I just wanted to show you a little bit about how to navigate it and how it works. And then if you want, I will have the link to the wait list down in the description. You just sign up for that. You got to make sure you have a GitHub account because that's how we're letting people in. And then you'll be able to start playing around with this. Just hook it up to API keys and yeah, that's it. So you'll see here, I pulled it way over, but we'd have your note here. I'm just pulling over here for you guys so you can just see the screen. So this is assistance. A couple things here. One, just like you have in ChatGPT or whatever, you're going to have your list of chats here. Then you're going to have your chat box. You can actually talk to it. It uses the Whisper API and send your messages. And then just like GPTs or projects, GPTs and ChatGPT projects and in Claude, you can just set up specific agents that do specific things. So for example, I got the prof here. You can set your max tokens, whatever model you want, a description, and then the system prompt. So here's the professor's system prompt in here. And then we have uh, the ability to attach it to any of your notes. So for right now, I have it giving access to its own memory. So this is uh, all of our conversations and a little file about me. So it has that as context, for example. And the biggest thing is tools. So you're not going to have access to all these tools because we're testing a lot. But the idea is you can ask it to do certain things that will engage a tool, which can be a more complicated sort of function of things. So for example, we have one here that can read one of your notes. It can save a note. We can create a canvas. We can hook up to Dolly and create images. All kinds of different things. And these are very, or we're trying to take them as easy as possible to code up yourself and make your own tools. So for right now, I'm not really going to play with the tools, but we're just going to say, hey, pra. So this is what I want to mention. I don't know if you guys have been listening to my podcast, the Chow Chat GPT, but I do a lot of these conversations with the prof, the prof, and this is what I've been using to do that. So it does have that information, not only about me, but our past conversations. It's obviously still not perfect, but you can see here, it's, it's asking me what I want to do today. Please share your current goals or any specific queries. We can see here, we have my graph of reason. So I'll typically maybe start off with something like, tell me how it's hanging in, in the garden. Okay, and it's like update. Oh, we talked about Echo, so this is good. Now let's do something fun here. I'm going to give it access to a tool. We're going to give it access to Dolly, because why not? And we're going to say, can you create a wide image of the garden for us? So that took a couple of tries, more than I wanted. So it's important to be specific with the tools when you want to use them. So when I said create a wide image, we actually want to specify Dolly so it knows what to use. So you can see here it's saying executing. That means it's actually using the tool now. Now it's back to thinking. That usually means that it's done and now it's going to return to us the final completion. And there we go. Not much of your garden, but you get the idea. You can mess around with all these things and you can go back and forth and make adjustments and plug it into all kinds of APIs. Again, fill out the waiting list. Make sure you have a GitHub. And you'll get access to this. There's tons of resources for you to get bootstrapped into this. Lots of videos I've created for you. We're so excited for you to try. Make sure you join our Discord as well. That's where we'll be answering questions and trying to incorporate people's feedback. So as always, appreciate it, chatters. I hope you enjoy it. I'm really looking forward to you all using this. This is going to be awesome.